Hello everybody, my name is Goodboy and welcome to a video on how to calibrate insanely well. I have my rather talented guest, Primate. Hi, Primate. Hello, sir. What's up? Living the dream, mate. Living the dream. Uh, and we are going to talk today about how to calibrate exceptionally well and some of what winning and losing means in the calibration system. So, uh, Primate, first and foremost, talk to me about what happens um, if you win games or lose games and the ratios of win and loss ratio, what it will mean for your MMR. Okay, so let's talk about me. I finished my game uh, early this morning yeah. and I played all the thing games and I finished 7-3. I had uh, 7 wins and 3 losses. Yeah. Uh, before the calibration, I had 6,600 MMR. After the calibration, I got 6,900. That nice. means that I won around 300 MMR with a 7-3 ratio. Let's think that it's like the wins and the loses exclude themselves. So let's say I have four wins, right? Yeah. Mm, I guess I got like for four wins, you get 300 MMR. I have one friend that uh, finished 9-1. He won nine games and lost only one. Yeah. And he won 500 MMR. Wow. So I think everything that is... Uh, after, like uh, above 5.5, five, if you have anything better than 5.5, five, you will win MMR. But I think if you still go 5.5, five, five, you might lose some. Okay. Because I had, I had some friends that have lost around 200 MMR with 5.5. Five. Ooh, vicious. So the average player on average is going to lose MMR then. <laughs> yeah. O overall, yes, I think that's what's going to happen, actually. Ah, uh, well, this, this will be brutal. I'm sure there'll be some, some, some consequential nerfs uh, as a result, but uh, at least at least it makes a difference, though. I mean, because normally the thing that I found frustrating with the previous calibration seasons, a couple of seasons back, was people would win all 10 games, lose all 10 games, and everything else in between, and still get roughly the same MR as before. So at least it makes a difference calibrating, so that, that's that's good fun. Um, okay, yeah. cool. So, so, so I think that leads us on to the much more important question, which is how on earth, and and as particularly like for a lower skill player, um, what can you do to best improve your chances of uh, to best improve your chances of calibrating um, with a higher rank? Besides, of course, the extremely not appropriate use of getting a booster on your account. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I guess that's something. I, I, well, I think I have some different ideas that you, you, you can, you can actually put in practice. Great. First would be trying to play ranked roles. I was thinking, and if you play ranked roles, uh, you will definitely get your, pos you will definitely get your positions, and you should be around players that got the same average than you. This thing is not possible in higher MMR. Like, I cannot play ranked roles because there are not enough players. Yeah. But maybe if you are a 3k scrub or a 2k scrub, I yeah. think it's going it's gonna go well for you. So, you should try to focus on playing the position that you are best. So, that means ranked roles is your place. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, this, yeah. This is one. Uh, another thing, try always to... Try to play the best that you can play i mean that's obvious i mean it's normal yeah. but now don't play the best play like 110 percent more of what you can like sure. try to give yourself like try to in it doesn't matter what position you play just try to try to win every game try to be positive try to communicate with your team yeah. try to make calls try to whatever just try to win the game yeah Okay, um, I think that makes a lot of sense. Particularly, I, I had an, an atrocious game last night playing Wraith King, who is so insanely easy. Not only did I lag the entire game, but I was half asleep. And I think perhaps one of the big mistakes there I made was actually playing in that kind of environment. And what I should have done is played at a better time of the day where I'm more awake and more able to pay attention and, uh, and all the rest of it. What do you think about being coached while you're calibrating? Mm, being coached while you're calibrated? Um, I don't think it's necessarily a good idea. Right, uh, okay. It could be, it could be, but I'm, I'm not sure because there are a lot of players, like when you coach somebody, when I coach somebody, I want him to learn something, right? Yeah. And usually I would coach him in an unranked game or in... A rank, I, I wouldn't coach him to play... The calibration games i should coach him before that i i should he should try to play normal games yeah talk with a coach yeah try to focus on something like let's say focus on a hero or on something that they should play yeah and after that you can go into the matchmaking but like everybody should just play themselves like they shouldn't try to rely on a coach yeah after all 
So okay. that's what I think. All right, fine. So so having coaching for like prep work is fine, but the actual yeah. games themselves, you probably just need to do them by yourselves. Okay, cool. Exactly. Now, I mean, that's how life works. You'll always be by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> like you cannot rely. I mean, you can rely on other people, but when it's the real deal, you have to man up. Yeah. And go. And go. Yeah, okay, very great. What about then, because obviously the solo, so we talked a lot about solo calibration. What about team calibration? Any advice on that? Mm, team calibration. In general, try to pick your best friends. Try to pick up the guys that you enjoy playing Dota the most and just have fun. Like, this is what party MMR is all about. You okay. shouldn't care that much about the MMR right, when it comes to party because, like, people misunderstand like when you play solo yeah you try hard but you should just have fun when you're playing party because after all it's just a game it's, okay. after all yeah it's like just a game nothing more and and your belief is if if you're having fun in party you're going to calibrate better mm, pretty sure i mean not necessarily better but at least you're gonna enjoy your time like if you want to try hard you can just pick four friends that are better than you and they are gonna carry you and you're, you can win even 10-0. Like, you can invite your divine friends. Yeah. And the, let's say you are ancient or legend or whatever, and you just calibrate high because they can carry you. You okay. can always do that. Hmm. Backpacking. You're talking about backpacking, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. Obvious. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, that, that's a fun fun thing to do. Yeah, well, that's all right. Yeah, yeah. No, that, that sounds, sounds fun. Um, uh, okay, cool. So that, that makes sense. Um, so besides picking your like best hero to play, are there any, if you look at like the meta right now, are there any heroes that particularly stand out and you think, actually, this hero is really overpowered and if you, you know, practice the hero before yes, and then actually, calibrate, then you'll yeah. have an advantage. What, what, what would those standout heroes be? I have an idea. One would be Visage. Yeah. You just, uh, you just go mid. If you can play it properly, you just go mid. You just buy Vladimir. Solar Crest, Dominator, whatever, and you finish the game in 10 minutes, 20 minutes. The same goes with Furion. And when it comes uh, to safe lane, I think it's Troll. Probably these three are the heroes that I think that are... Troll Warlord, really? Yeah. I played out of my 10 games, I played 6 or 5 with Troll and I won 4 of them. Uh, I had like... Yeah, I won 4 out of 5. I, okay, alright, okay. Uh, that's, that's very interesting to know. So I'm just just looking here at my so I've got a, I've got a list here of all the, the you know the hero change logs for the different mm -hmm. heroes. Um, Troll I didn't see a massive change. Uh, so his level 15 talent had his um, whirling axes damage increase from 75 to 90, and his yeah. level 20 saw his evasion improve from 20 percent to 25. Is yeah. that really the difference? Is that really? Uh, the difference? It's it's you 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 need to see the bigger picture. Okay. It's not that okay. Troll didn't got uh, buffed, it's that the other heroes got nerfed. Okay. They nerfed, they nerfed Phantom uh, Assassin yeah. uh, with the cleave, bo they switched the talents, so now you cannot pick the triple dagger and the coup degress in the same time because you have to choose between them. Ah. Uh, and uh, there are other heroes that got nerfed, so you need to try to see the bigger picture. So got it's it. not that other heroes are necessarily... Good, but now like Juggernaut got nerfed. You cannot Omni Slash. You cannot TP from Omni Slash anymore. Yeah, uh, was, the Healing Ward is moving slower. The cooldown is increased, and there are other heroes. Ah, and I forgot. Oh, I just remember, but I will yeah. tell you after. So uh, the thing is that uh, you you need to. I think Troll is just a really good hero. Like if you need to fight, you can fight. You can go for fighting items. You can go Yasha BKB, mm. uh, Vladimir, whatever. Or if you want to farm, you go Battle Fury and you just farm six slot and you win the game. So it bo it goes okay. both. You can finish games in twenty minutes or you can finish games in fifteen minutes. Okay, fine. Uh, all right, fair enough. Fair enough okay, fair and uh, what I remember that I wanted to tell you, there is another hero that's really good right now, and it's Wisp. It's overpowered. I think Wisp is probably the <laughs> yeah. best hero that you can pick right now if you can yeah. play it. I agree. <laughs> I, I, I just read this patch and I was just like, this, this is broken. This is absolutely Yeah, it, it, it is extremely broken, actually. It's insanely broken. <laughs> so, so it, I mean, because the hero was like banned like all the time in the pro scene prior to getting what was the most insane buffs i've ever seen on a hero in one patch and 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 this is this is the answer it's like oh we're banning it all the time so now in the well they've removed from captain moments haven't they yeah so so we won't yeah. see him being a band all the time but i think um you know i i just can't see io uh 
you know, ever being allowed to be played in the pro scene ever again until they change the hero <laughs> with these kind of changes. It's insane. I, I, I mean, the problem with Wisp is that this hero was picked since TI3, like until now to TI8. Like, yeah. this hero is picked in every tournament for, for like five years. Yeah. yeah. Like, Probably the hero needs a rework, but this is not the rework that I was thinking of. No. Uh, like, <laughs> no. I, I think it's pretty it's pretty sad. And by the way, uh, the, I, the saddest hero in this patch that you should never pick, guys, is Ursa. Like, that hero was trash, got destroyed, and now they nerfed it again. D try to don't pick Ursa, boys. This is my advice. Uh, well, okay, that's very interesting because meta-wise, in terms of, like, current win rate, Ursa actually has the second highest win rate in Dota right now. So it is, his win rate has skyrocketed, this is according to Dota buff, from 51% to 57%. Um, I know they reduced his fury swipes, but they increased his movement speed. And I, I'm wondering if that movement speed increase has been significant enough to make Ursa scary. What do you think of that? Mm, no, I'm, I'm just... I think Ursa is just a sad hero right now. Okay. <laughs> this is how I see him. <laughs> like, he, he, with all the win rate in the world, I, I'm pretty sure it's not that great of a hero. Okay, I mean, no, I... He, 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 it, it might work. I, I'm not saying that you're never gonna win with Ursa, obviously. Like, you can win, but I think it's, there are way better heroes that you can pick. Sure, sure, sure. No, no, that's absolutely fine. All right, brilliant. Well, those are some great talking points there. So, thank you very much, Primate, for sharing that Pearls of Wisdom with us. Um, and I would like to say, everybody, please give the video a like, subscribe, and share. And there is a giveaway in the description below, as is Primate's Twitch, which I'd love you to uh, sign up for. All right, everybody, thank you so much. See you later, and goodbye. <laughs>